intuitively, I think we both kind of like the Rams a little bit. And with Wolford playing instead of Stafford, we would still like the Rams a little bit. I think the only strategy here is like, hope Stafford doesn't play and hope the number crashes and bet the Rams. I don't know if I want the Rams to win by margin in a game, even if I don't know if Kyler's going to play or not. So uh, don't bet the game now. Listen to us on Sunday. If we know whether Stafford's going to play, maybe the number crashes. Maybe you get like a really, really, really discounted price on the Rams. For now, nothing. I think it's like Rams or nothing for me, no matter what. If it's going to be right. like everyone's playing and it's Rams three, I think I might lay it with the Rams. I think the number, the right number of the game is three and a half. And I what's happening on the other the side? With Kyler playing, not playing? It would be Kyler playing if it was uh, three. If, if everybody plays, so I think Kyler I lay plays it with too. I thought you meant everybody for the Rams. Sorry. So ev no, everybody no, plays. Everyone, total. everyone plays, right. period. Yeah. Yes. Got if it. it's like Kyler doesn't play, well, then it'll probably be the line will get too far and we'll bet Colt McCoy is an under. What do you think it would be? Six. Oh my God! I would, I would love to take six with the Cardinals with Colt McCoy. I would love. That's the best bet out of any scenario that we could possibly hope for. Is that Cardinals plus six with Colt McCoy against the Rams? Do you think you think it would be less than that? Then sounds like you think it would be less than that. No, no. Would it be more than that? I hope so. <laughs> okay, well, that's different than it will be. <laughs> that's what you want it to be. I. I mean, it should. It's, it's got to be you something. Would think that yeah. yeah, well, theoretically. He's a very dynamic and, and, and like, player. Like it's, I, and and they you're really stink. right with what you say a lot of the time, yeah. and I need to be more cognizant of it that like not all numbers are the same. But like, it, Colt McCoy is at least three points worse than Kyler Murray. Probably like four points worse than Kyler Murray. Now, again, like three points takes you up to six, and then four gets you to seven. So I don't know if it's like to that degree here. It has to be at least six, though, right? It can't just be five and a half. I guess. No, no, no. Especially because especially we're like, we were, th we were going to be three probably anyway six and i mean maybe it's a maybe it's a full touchdown maybe i'm like discounting i mean the cardinals have like kyler murray we think about it as like oh like really dynamic runner like crazy playmaker cardinals have one of the worst offenses in football right now what if he doesn't play like this is a brutal offense i mean really really like they may they may score less than 10 points in the game it's called it McCoy, might be honestly. you're right with with some of the offensive line this might be like seven and a half maybe a touchdown Honestly, I, I, and I, think, I haven't bet the game yet. I think we have to. Do we have to bet the Rams right now? What if Stafford? But what if Stafford doesn't play? Wouldn't you still intuitively kind of like to hold your Rams ticket, even if it's John Wolford? See, here's why I would say you're, it's not that you're wrong. Just that I think I have a bet that I like in every possible permutation. Like Stafford doesn't play, but okay. Kyler does. I bet the Rams is dogs. Got it. Stafford and Kyler both play. I lay three. Kyler doesn't play. I bet Arizona like plus six and a half, plus seven. I think I have a bet okay. every permutation. So you're locked and loaded like no matter what, you just need to know which permutation and then you'll just make the bet at like what the market That's right. value will be.